hey what's going on guys welcome to my channel right back and guys here today in this video we are going to guys find out should you need to guys switch from the performance mode to the directx 11 because a lot of guys youtuber are making the video so you need to guys switch on to the directx 11 for getting the better performance into the fortnite so guys in this video we are going to guys find out which rendering mode is the better for us with the proper benchmarking into the fortnite late game arena therefore we can get the better results and also guys at the end of this video we will find the results and then i will also guys give you the better config file settings for that rendering mode guys which is the better perform into this benchmarking so guys before starting out this video if it's your first time here so guys please subscribe turn on the bell notification therefore you never miss out the next video update from at this channel so guys with wasting any time let's go straight into this video so guys here we are in our fortnite late game arena and you can check it out here right now we are playing onto the full screen mode 620 by the 1050 which is the uh, stretch resolution and the rendering mode is the performance mode with the high matches and you can check it out here in our battle bus we are getting like 300 plus fps with the performance mode and uh, also this is my first game don't expect i will get a lot of kills in this game so here we are getting like 150 around fps with the recording to the obs and uh, you can like expect like 10 to 20 more fps because right now i'm also recording So guys here we are in the second game of our fortnite with the performance mode which is our rendering mode and right now i'm not like getting any kind of the stutters or the fps drops at all i'm also recording with the obf but still it is the better performance with the performance mode after this video we will test out the uh, directx 11 and then we will see the performance of that rendering mode also Okay, so guys, here we are with our DirectX 11 mode, and you can check it out here. Like, we are on the same resolutions, a bunch of options unlock, and right now we are on the DirectX 11. And right now, in the bus, we are getting like 240 FPS or uh, 230 FPS, but with the performance mode, we are getting like 300 or 350 FPS while we are in the battle bus. But right now, like, we are getting 
160 FPS and while we draw from the bus we also got some kind of stirs to open up this world. Also here I got like uh, some kind of like stirs. Like with the uh, Direct X11 here is also some kind of like stutters in the FPS mode, so like that. So here we are with the second game of our DirectX 11 rendering mode and let's just give it another chance. This time we have the purple shotgun. So we have not good with this shotgun. We got like two wins. Oh, okay, so let's see. Here we are. So guys that's it for this video of this benchmarking and guys at the end of this video my final decision that is cause you know the performance mode is way better than the DirectX 11 rendering mode because but with the DirectX 11 there is a lot of like input delay I am like experienced while I am playing the end game or the late game of the arena of the Fortnite and uh, with the performance mode there is less input delay and uh, also the FPS is way better because while we are in bus and uh, onto the like the journal position you can say like i'm getting like 250 fps or 200 fps with the directly 11 but instead 
onto the same location with the performance mode I am getting like 100 plus FPS extra that is the 350 FPS while I am in the battle bus so here is my like the final decision the performance mode is the way better so guys I hope so you love this video so make sure to subscribe turn on the bell notification and smash a like on this video so till the next video Allah Hafiz and bye bye